Hi, I'm going to demonstrate the Smart Patient Summarizer app running inside the I2B2 Research Data Repository. Here we have a standard I2B2 login screen. We're going to log in as the demo user. Immediately, you'll see the I2B2 screen pop up. On the left, you see terminologies, the workspace, and previous queries. The workspace is a place where patient sets can exist. These can be patients from previous queries that we've saved, or they can be perhaps patients that I have access to as a clinician. Uh, above that, in the terminology section, you can see we can select allergies, encounters, medications, and such things in order to build a query. Let me just go to a previous query that we had run on Spanish-speaking females. I can revitalize that query into the query tool by just dragging it over. And now you can see what a query looks like. We have ages here, so the item 35 to 44 years old and 45 to 54 years old. The items inside a panel are ORed together. And then the items across panels are ANDed together. So the patient must be between 35 and 54 years old, and they must be female, and they must speak Spanish as their primary language. This is kind of like a Venn diagram, where each panel is a circle in the Venn diagram. So I already have the results of this query here. It's these two patients. And I can look at the contents of one of these patients inside SMART. So if I pull up Analysis Tools and choose View Patient with SMART Apps, then I can drag that patient right over into the SMART EMR view. Now, by default, I get this simple EMR view where I see the problem list, the meds list, and the labs list. I'll wait for that to load for a second. So you can see a variety of problems, a variety of drugs, and a bunch of lab values in a disorganized way. But now we can switch to the patient summarizer view, which allows us to view patient data in a much more intuitive fashion. So now you see problems and medications organized by the problems. So we see acute bronchitis is being treated with aminophilline. Pernicious anemia is being treated with vitamin B. Seizure is being treated with this drug. Urinary incontinence is being treated with this drug, and so forth. Also, instead of long lists of lab values, we now have the labs grouped by lab category. So we can look at hematocrit as a graph over time, or we can look at white blood cell count as a graph over time. You also can pull up patients directly from the workspace. So in fact, the very same patient exists here in the workspace. And we can pull her up and, in fact, validate that she has the same information that we were viewing before. So there you go. You've got two ways of looking at patients, either from a research query point of view or from a clinical care point of view, using the same patient summarizer app written in SMART, which can run in any EHR that is SMART enabled or any system that has I2B2 running on it.